Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proveth you to know whether ye love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. So it's interesting that God knows that these people exist, but why does he allow them to exist? Yeah, they're going to be damned. They're going to go to hell. You know, they're going to be accursed for believing a false gospel, for preaching a false gospel. But why does he still allow these things in the world? Because to test you, to test whether you actually know the Bible, whether you actually love the God, God, love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Part of loving God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength is loving his word, right? So you can't say, oh, I love God with all my heart, my soul. Oh, I love God so much, but I just hate his word. I hate reading his word. I don't want anything to do with church. I don't want anything to do with the Bible. You know, if you love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, you ought to love his body, right? You love his people. This is why, you know, you need to really reflect, guys. If you love God, you love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, how do you feel when you have to come to church? Is it a drag? How do you feel when you have to read the Bible? Is that a drag? How do you feel when you have to pray? How do you feel when you have to go soul winning? Is that a drag? So you just got to think, do I love God with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength? Hey, I'm not perfect either. You know, I'm just saying, this is what God expects of us. And before we get all high and mighty and we say, oh man, I believe the right doctrine. I'm going to a great church. I go out and preach the gospel. I do all these things. I love God more than that person. Before we compare ourselves to other people, we ought to think, what does God expect from me? God expects me to love him with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. Because when you love somebody, you desire to do these things. Nobody has, you know, I'm sure nobody has to talk Peter into doing that, that nice fancy engagement party for Steph, right? Because you love her. You want to do these things. It's a, it's, a, it's a pleasure to do these things. And this is the point we have to get to as believers. We need to get to the point where it's a pleasure to serve God. It's a pleasure. Like, I, like, I want to go soul winning because I love God. I want to help out at church because I want to serve God. I want to serve my brothers and sisters. I want to serve the body of Christ. Because remember Jesus said, if you give a cup of water in his name, it's like you, you give it to the least, you've given it to him. So this is why I enjoy serving the body of Christ, because I know I'm serving Jesus Christ, and I love him. I, wanted, I want to do it. Hey, I'm not perfect, right? Obviously, you know, I don't always want to do that. And that's why you know, I need to think, man, I say I love God, but do I really love God? Do I really love him? He's, he's putting these things in my life to, so I can prove my love to him. Because if, if life was just so easy, right? If life, if everything, you know, it's just so easy to, to go to church and so easy to read the Bible and so easy to live the Christian life, how are you going to show God that you love him? So sometimes when life is easy, God sends trials. He sends tribulation. He sends persecution. And you, you need not get discouraged and just go, oh man, life's so hard. That's when you can think of it differently and go, man, this is my chance to prove to God that I love him. Right? This is my chance to prove. Hey, even if it's so hard to go soul winning, even when it's so hot, even when it's so cold, even when it's raining, even though I've got like all these kids and everything's going messy, hey, this is my chance to prove to God, hey, even if it's so hard, I still love you. I still want to do the right thing because that's why God allows you. And he gives us this chance. Man, he's like, he's like giving you a chance to earn more money. You know, it's like if you've got, like most of us at work, and we die, we, we die for the opportunity to get that promotion right they give you the chance to make more money that's what god's doing He's saying hey i'm going to give you a chance i'm going to give you something and, and we can think of, i know i'm sort of totally going off topic but we can think about this verse as well and think about this is why god allows satan in the world because people will say oh if god's so good why does he allow satan why does he allow all these demons same principle god god knows satan knows satan's going to hell god knows satan's going to hell but why is satan in the world god has a purpose for him because god can use satan to make our life hard and in making our life hard we can prove to god that we love him even more like job and it gives us a chance to earn more rewards 